Lifehouse is an American rock band from Los Angeles comprising Jason Wade, Rick Wilston Hume, Jr., Bryce Soderbergh and Ben Carey. The band came to mainstream prominence in 2001 with the hit single Hanging by a Moment from their debut studio album, No Name Face. The song was number one for three weeks on the Billboard Modern Rock Tracks chart and peaked at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, and the single won a Billboard Music Award for Hot 100 Single of the Year, having spent 20 weeks in the top ten and more than a year on the charts. In 2002, Lifehouse released their follow-up album Stanley Klimpfall. Since then, they have released four more albums, the eponymous Lifehouse in 2005, Who We Are in 2007, Smoke and Mirrors in 2010, and Almira in 2012. These albums have spawned the singles You and Me, First Time, and Whatever It Takes, which have all been top 40 hits in the U.S. To date. Lifehouse has sold over 15 million singles and albums worldwide, approximately 5 million of which are albums. History, 1996 a Euro 2000, Bliss and Formation of Lifehouse, Jason Wade had been writing songs since his parents' divorce as a coping mechanism. After moving to Los Angeles in 1995, he met bassist Sergio Andrade, his next-door neighbor. The following year, Wade, Andrade, and John Diff Palmer formed Bliss, the forerunner of Lifehouse, and began to play live shows at high schools and colleges. Later, Colin Hayden and Aaron Lord were added to the band. Soon thereafter, word of mouth reached producer Ron Ami Lowe, who introduced the band to Jude Cole, who in turn introduced them to DreamWorks Records principal Michael Austin. In 1998, Annie Lowe produced Bliss's first demos, with the financial backing of DreamWorks Records. Some of these recordings would form the 1999 EP Diff's Lucky Day, which would be sold at live concerts or distributed among friends and music industry contacts. In 2000, Bliss changed its name to Lifehouse. On their choosing the band name, frontman Jason Wade said, It's about what we do as a band and for me personally. Most of this record is about my life and about life's circumstances. Not only my life, but other people's lives. We thought Lifehouse was a good name for it. 2000, No Name Face, in 2000, Lifehouse re-recorded, remixed, and released 12 of the 15 Diff's Lucky Day session demos as No Name Face, their debut major label release. No Name Face met significant commercial success and established the band, and eventually would sell in excess of 4 million copies worldwide. This was in part due to the success of Hanging by a Moment, Lifehouse's first commercial single. Due to the charisma and talent of frontman Wade, DreamWork Records' focus was primarily on him. Hanging by a Moment was the third song in chart history to be named the No One's Song of the Year on the Billboard Hot 100 despite not having reached number one on any weekly Billboard Hot 100 survey. The second single from the album, Six Cycle Carousel was not as commercially successful as Hanging by a Moment, but peaked at number 35 on the Billboard Modern Rock chart, and the third and final single was Breathing, a reworking of a song that was featured on Diff's Lucky Day. The song Everything was the first of many Lifehouse songs to be featured in the future hit WB drama Smallville. Seven of the band's songs would be featured in episodes of the series' first four seasons, and the band itself would perform live at the Smallville prom at the end of the fourth season episode Spirit. The song, You and Me, would be released on the series' second soundtrack, Smallville, The Metropolis Mix, in an extended form, subtitled The Wedding Version. The song Everything was also used in the series' 200th episode, Homecoming, in the show's tenth and final season, as an homage to the series' pilot and first season finale episodes. The song Somewhere in Between, also from No Name Face, was featured in the first season episode of Falcon Beach, The Blame Game. By the release date of Lifehouse's Dar Copyright Bud album, October 31, 2000, Palmer had left the band, and Wade and Andrade were the only remaining founding members. Soon after recording No Name Face, Wade and Andrade met Rick Wilston Hume, who auditioned for the needed drummer part and joined the band as full time drummer. Before the audition, Walston Hume had been rehearsing in an adjacent room to Lifehouse and frequently he and Wade would pass each other without meeting the other. 
2002 05, Stanley Klimpfall. Shortly after a long tour for No Name Face, Lifehouse re entered the studio to cut their second album, Stanley Klimpfall. The album's initial success was short lived and its singles, Spin, and Take Me Away, were vastly overshadowed by the success of the first album. Shortly after the album debuted, Rick's brother Sean Wollstone Hume officially became the fourth member of the band in June 2002. He had previously toured with Lifehouse. In April 2004, Sergio Andrade confirmed that he had decided to leave the band to pursue individual projects. Shortly after his departure, Sean also left the band to pursue other musical projects such as Abandoned Pools and the Jimmy Chamberlain Complex, 2005 Euro 07, Lifehouse. Jason Wade and Rick Wilston Hume remained the active members of Lifehouse. In late 2004, Bryce Soderberg signed on as Lifehouse's new bassist. On July 6, 2004, they went to Maryland to begin work on their eponymous third album. Lifehouse was released on March 22, 2005 and was produced by John Aladia. The album's first single, You and Me, was released for airplay on January 18, 2005. It was written several years prior and was originally performed by Jason Wade in the 2000 independent film All Over Again. The song was a success and stayed on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 for 62 weeks, peaking at number 5. The song also appears on the soundtrack to Smallville. One episode, Spirit, featured the band actually performing it and three other songs from the album on the show. The song has also appeared on Cold Case, Boston Legal, Gavin and Stacy, Everwood, Grey's Anatomy, The 4400 and Medium. The song All in All was featured in Scrubs. The music video for the album's second single, Blind, was released October 19, 2005. It stars Tina Majorino and features several other up-and-coming young actors such as Arch McLean, Stephen Chung, Christopher Thien Dukevan and Andy Walters. In 2006, the song Good Enough was featured in the Disney film The Wild and was repeated over the end credits. 2007 Euro 09, Who We Are. Their fourth album, entitled Who We Are, was released on June 19, 2007. The album features Wade, Wollstone Hume and Soderbergh as its lineup, and rocks a little harder than their previous album, according to the band. The album was recorded in Kiefer Sutherland and Jude Call's recording studio. Ironworks Studios, in Los Angeles. The album's release was followed by a tour with the Goo Goo Dolls and Colby Kalert, which began June 15 at the Dodge Theater in Phoenix, Arizona, after which the band embarked on a worldwide headlining tour. The album's first single was First Time, released on April 24, 2007. The song debuted on the Billboard Hot 100 at number 48 in May and peaked at No A3 on the Hot Adult Top 40 charts. The album's second single, Whatever It Takes, was released to radio stations on October 29, 2007. The song's music video premiered on Yahoo Music on November 16, 2007. Broken, the album's third single, has appeared on several TV series, including Grey's Anatomy, Criminal Minds, One Tree Hill, One Life to Live in the Hills. Most recently, it was featured in the motion picture soundtrack The Time Traveler's Wife. It peaked at number 83 on the Billboard Hot 100. The music video for Broken officially debuted on VH1's Top 20 Countdown on September 20, 2008. The song, Who We Are was used in an advertisement on A&E to promote their original programming. Lifehouse held a contest to make a video for the song Make Me Over. The band gave 60 USC School of Cinematic Arts graduate students a chance to shoot the video for their new single. The winning video premiered at a gala event on December 5, 2008 at the Paley Center for Media in Beverly Hills, CA. As of October 2008, the album had been certified gold. On April 11, 2009, the band announced that Ben Carey was an official member of the band. They said that they had been a four-piece for some time, and that Ben is family to us. Ben had been touring with the band since 2004. 2009 Euro 2010, Smoke and Mirrors Lifehouse announced in August 2008 that they would be starting on their fifth album, 
which was tentatively scheduled for a late 2009 release. The band entered the studio on November 12, 2008 to begin working on the project. They stated in an interview at ESPN Magazine's Next Party during Super Bowl XLIII that the album should be released in late 2009. Lifehouse revealed during their 2009 tour that the album would also include the band's previously released single From Where You Are. It was announced on October 15 that the new album would be called Smoke and Mirrors and would be released on December 8, 2009. However, on November 13, 2009, the band stated on its webpage that it would now be released on February 2, 2010. The first single was Halfway Gone, which was released on October 27, 2009. The music video premiered on the VH1 Top 20 on VH1.com at the end of November. The album was released in the standard, deluxe, and two-disc deluxe edition. On December 22nd, Tommy2.net reported that the album had been pushed back once again, this time to February 23, 2010. The album was then delayed again, but was released on March 2, 2010. The album debuted at number 6 on the Billboard 200 with 54,203 sold. This marked the highest chart debut of their 10-year career, beating out first week chart position for their 2002 sophomore set Stanley Klimfall, which debuted at number 7. 2011 A Euro 2013, Almira A. In August 2011, Lifehouse announced on their official Facebook page that they were working on their sixth studio album. On September 11, 2012, Lifehouse released a new single featuring Natasha Bedingfield entitled Between the Raindrops. A month later, on October 18, the band announced that the title of their sixth studio album would be Almira A. Almira A was released on December 11 in the US and December 12 worldwide. On July 24, 2013, Jason posted a letter on the band's Facebook page saying that Lifehouse has parted with G Fen but will continue to make new music. Trivia, shortly after the death of George Harrison, the band performed an acoustic rendition of Something on Last Call with Carson Daly. The band has also covered the keen single Somewhere Only We Know Live on Yahoo! Music The group also stated that Keen's album Under the Iron Sea was their favorite album of 2007. In 2007, the band did a cover of the Rolling Stones' Beast of Burden for the strip music sessions. The band says that they wanted to pay homage to the Godfathers of Rock. Jason Wade wrote the song From Where You Are for All States Teen Driving Program. The song was featured on the Tall Lights commercial and aired on NBC. Band members, current members, Jason Wade a Euro lead vocals, rhythm guitar, Rick Wilston Hume, Jr. a Euro drums, percussion, Bryce Soderberg a Euro bass guitar, backing vocals, Ben Carey a Euro lead guitar. Backing vocals, former members, Sean Wilston Humor Euro Leg Guitar, Backing Vocals, John Diff Palmer Euro Drums, Percussion, Sergio Andrade Euro Bass Guitar, Grant Powell Euro Bass Guitar, Percussion, Discography. Diff's Lucky Day, released under the band name of Bliss, No Name Face, Stanley Klimfall, Lifehouse, Who We Are, Smoke and Mirrors, Almira, References. External links, official website, Lifehouse on Twitter.